I am Vasily Lamachenko, you are watching Dante's, 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 Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, it looks like Vasil Lomachenko, he'll be making his return back into the ring, fighting for another title against uh, Panama's Zazril Corrales, the WBA champion. He's 21-1 and one with eight knockouts. Now, I know that doesn't sound extremely impressive, but the Panamanian, he pulled off a pretty big upset when he knocked out the previously undefeated Japanese champion at the time, which was Takashi Uchiyama. So he came in as an underdog, a heavy underdog, and won the title against Uchiyama, and then gave Uchiyama a rematch and beat him a second time. So with that on his resume, that will make this a better win for Lomachenko if Lomachenko beats him which he most likely will beat him. You know, I really want to commend Lomachenko because he's doing something that only a handful of fighters are willing to do today. And that's move up in weight, face tougher challenges, guys that are big punchers, undefeated fighters, etc., etc. He continues to challenge himself by taking on all comers and facing all champions. Now, I truly believe as long as Vasil Lomachenko doesn't go up to 140, and as long as he doesn't fight uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux at a catch weight, I really can't see anybody beating Lomachenko at the time. Now, I mean, I know there's always new fighters emerging and popping up out of nowhere, but right now, I just can't see anyone beating him outside of those uh, fighters that I just mentioned, and I said those fighters. When I say if he moves up to 140, we know who's at 140. That's Terrence Crawford. And even Lomachenko himself surprisingly gave Terrence Crawford a lot of respect. He really praised uh, Terrence Crawford. So we already know that even Lomachenko knows what time it is when it comes to moving up to 140 to fight someone like Terrence Crawford. But like I said, once again, outside of a Terrence Crawford, you know, in a Guillermo Rigondeaux that's not too small going up against uh, Lomachenko, I don't really see anybody beating him right now. Now, I know Gary Russell, he's been very adamant. He's been aggressively calling out Lomachenko, and that rematch would be interesting. You know, because once again, when you have a fighter like Gary Russell and Lomachenko, but when it comes to a fighter like Gary Russell, someone who has such a deep, extensive amateur pedigree, similar to Lomachenko's, you can expect a fighter like that to make the right adjustments in a rematch. Now, there's no guarantee he would beat Lomachenko in a rematch, but I can see him making the necessary adjustments in a rematch. So it'll be interesting, man. It'll be interesting to see... Uh, who challenges uh, Lomachenko. But yeah, right now, uh, I expect to see another very impressive performance by Lomachenko in April. Who knows? Maybe it turns out to be a competitive fight. We'll just have to see. Now, and I did see highlights of the uh, Corrales uh, knockout when he knocked out Uchiyama, but I didn't really watch the rematch. So maybe I'll go back and... Um, Watch that rematch because it was a 12-round decision that uh, Corrales won in the rematch. So maybe I'll watch that fight and some other fights. But that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.